Wondering how to come up with video ideas that your audience wants? That's the key on YouTube, right? Is to make videos that people are looking for. In this video, I'm gonna walk through step-by-step -step how to use YouTube's new AI inspiration tab. Now there was an old inspiration tab. That's not the one we want. It's a new one in a new location. Let's walk through it right now so you can make the videos that your audience really wants. So let me show you where this is in YouTube studio. For a while now under the analytics tab, this last tab at the top was inspiration. And you could go through and it's made different suggestions for videos that you could make. But the new tool is in a different location. So it's over here in the content tab on the left. And then it's this first tab, inspiration up there. This is the one that's AI based. So this is what we're looking at. This is where you wanna go in your account. Now I wanna mention this in case you don't see it. It says currently this feature is only available in YouTube studio on desktop and in all countries apart from the European Union in the UK or Switzerland. So the first thing you're gonna see is some video ideas. And the interesting thing is you can refresh this page to get new ideas. This is AI generated. So if you log in later, you're not gonna see the same ideas. Now I'll show you how to save ideas you want here in just a second. And the great thing about these ideas is they are based on your current channel's viewers and what other topics they are watching videos about. So a couple of these suggestions, uh, how to use Facebook groups for YouTube growth, five things Facebook groups can do the pages can't. So that means that of the people who are viewing my channel, Done by Lunch Entrepreneurs, these are the other topics of videos that they are watching on YouTube. So it's interesting that there's so many about Facebook because I don't make that many videos about Facebook anymore. Although I kind of like this idea for how to use Facebook groups for YouTube growth. Now, what you can do is you can come in and you can actually reload this. So I'm gonna reload this and it's actually going to give me new suggestions. So this is interesting. It actually didn't give me any this time specifically about Facebook. But the most important thing to pay attention to is this little thing at the bottom of each of these ideas, okay? You'll notice these all say low interest at the bottom. Now they say no matter what the interest level is, these are still topics that your actual viewers have been watching the last 28 days of videos that have at least 1,000 views, okay? But I don't really wanna do these ones with low interest because I know on the last page it said high interest. So let's refresh one more time and see if I can get something a little bit higher. And then we'll go a little bit deeper into this tool. All right, so now we can see very high interest, medium interest, high interest. So now we've got a few other things that we can work with. So let's say you don't like any of the suggestions that are coming up for whatever reason, then you can also come over here to this brainstorm box. And so let me just put in podcasting. I've been enjoying making videos about podcasting lately. I hit create ideas. So now these are all related to podcasts. And I can see there's a couple that say medium interest, which means that my viewers are watching videos in topics similar to this. So let's go a little deeper. I like this idea about podcast growth hacks for 2025. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And what it's going to do is it's going to generate an outline, titles, and even thumbnails. AI is getting better and better, but I'm still making my thumbnails in Canva for sure. So if you wanna start with the title, for example, then I would say show more right here, click that. And now you have these different titles. So podcast growth hacks for 2025, the ultimate guide. These are not bad. I would certainly wanna do keyword research on them to make sure that they have a good chance of getting found in search. But you can also go through and again, use this box to improve your titles. So I primarily work with online entrepreneurs. So I could say revise these titles to include something about entrepreneurship. And just like if you were using another AI tool, it will revise them. So now I have podcast growth hacks for entrepreneurs in 2025, unlocking exponential podcast growth in 2025 strategies for entrepreneurs. And let's say you wanna do something with one of these, for example, uh, you could just come down and let's say the secret to podcast success, a guide for uh, entrepreneurs. You can click on just that one and go through and add any other directions that you want. And then these down here for any of these, you can click on any of these to get more ideas or more inspiration. You'll also, I wanna show you, there's this little copy box here. So let's say you love that title. You can then copy that into your planning document or to put it into chat GPT or wherever else you might want to. If I wanna go back, I click this back arrow up here at the top and now I can look at the outline. So same thing here, it is giving me a full outline. 
Now, if I love this exactly as it is, I can copy these one at a time. I don't see there's no copy all button yet. I then put them into my document, which is really, really neat. Or I can revise each of these. So let's say that in the marketing section here, beyond the mic marketing and promotion powerhouse, I want to include, please include, you always got to say please to the robots, right? Specific stories or examples. Then I can click update section and now it goes through and does it in a little bit more detail. Now it is AI, so you gotta make sure it's accurate of course. Let's say I wanted this section to be longer or I wanted this to be its own video. I could say, please expand this to 10 bullet points. Hit update section. Also, while you're in this outline section, if you have a section you just don't want to talk about or remove, you can just delete that as well. If we go back to our main screen here, so that's the outline, that is the titles. And then if you want to use the thumbnails, I mean, these are not bad. If you wanted to use one, like let's say I liked this one with the person holding the microphone there, you can just click download and then you could add text or something to it later if you wanted in another tool. So I guess I shouldn't say, oh, I would never, ever use this one uh, because I do want to make my custom thumbnails, but these are not bad for just stuff that they generated. One more important thing for you to know is how to save this. So let's say I want to come back and work on it later. I showed you at the beginning, if you refresh the page, AI generates new stuff, right? So I want to come up here and click this save button. And now it has been saved. And to go back and access that, back here on the main inspiration tab, I can click saved ideas on the upper right here. And now it is saved that one. So excited to make better videos using this tool. And if you want better videos and a better channel overall, I've got a video on the screen right now, seven things I would do differently if I was starting over on YouTube now. You can click that to check it out and I'll see you in the next video.